This is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. Trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash. Hi, everybody. I am Mitch English. I'm Andrea Jackson. This is Daily Flash, your source for trending news and entertainment. There are some things that I will hold true to. And uh, Jackson, you know me for quite yes. some time and uh, worked together so many times. One thing I just will not do is a potluck dinner uh, uh, unless I absolutely yes. know You and I, I are on the, the same page with that. Yes. It's no offense to anybody in yes. this room whatsoever. I promise you. Uh, I, uh, I, what I always appreciate about working in television is that we had we would have some camera guys that we would do a potluck yeah. and the camera guys, and they would make Make the food right there. No problem at all. I'm watching the food being made. Mm -hmm. I'm great. Okay. Mm -hmm. We go to Maryland where they have a potluck dinner. Somebody brings in some food, a noodle dish, right? And uh, mm -hmm. within one hour, mm -mm. 46 people went to the emergency room with severe <laughs> stomach problems, all right? All kinds of problems. And uh, within one hour, all these people. Now, first off, 46 people is a lot. That, that, whoever made yes. this noodle thing. So now you're thinking, okay, if you're making enough food for 46 people, you're not really caring about what's going inside no. of it, right? <laughs> Make it bigger. Make it bigger. You just, what else do we have in there? I, I'm going to go in the other room. The cat's jumping in there, swimming in the pot and everything like that. <laughs> you don't know what's going on. Uh, anyway, so, and the company didn't have a policy of where you can't bring in your own food. Okay. They do now. They do now. 100% after 46 people after a noodle dish somebody brought in. Can you imagine that? Your workforce just being brought to a halt? Yeah, because of some bad noodles. And, and, the guy, and, the, and then imagine being that person. Would you show up to work the next day? No, or when you feel better? No, they were, they were getting a revenge for something that happened. Somebody did something. Yeah, like, like, possible. Yeah, everybody. And that's why, even if I know the person, they bring in something chocolate, and I'm like, is there X lax in this? Like the James Bond area. Is this X lax? Is, that, is this X lax? Yeah. <laughs> Even sometimes your family members. My dad, God rest his soul, he used to make a Thanksgiving like uh, uh, a bread pudding thing or whatever. Now I knew my dad. My dad wasn't the cleanliest man on earth. <laughs> and we would take that to Thanksgiving, and I'm like, all right, y'all can eat that. So, all the it. bourbon in it would kill everything, right? The cigarette <laughs> butts and everything. I was like, no, nah, I'm good. It's no, I, rich, you're not supposed to be. I do remember my dad telling me a story, and I can never eat at another salad bar or food buffet again, because he went to this salad bar, and he was about to get some some salad for his dinner, and he saw some guy dipping his finger in all the dressings. And oh. Oh. It tasted them. You know why I won't be sad about it? Which one he wanted to eat? He's like, that was it. I not could not. Surprised. No, you know never again. Why I will never do a salad bar? Because. The uh, sneeze you, guard? Thank you. <laughs> they have a name for it. That means people have done it. Like, yeah. well, no, we're, you know what I'm saying? Like, if there's a guard for it, that means yeah. there was an issue. I, I have seen a man. I have seen a man. I, my, my hand to heavens, walk up to a salad bar. Put his hand in the olives, take a bite of yeah. them, and then just keep walking. It I, was the most oh. disgusting thing I ever saw. I get freaked out at Chipotle when people are leaning over the thing and like doing this. What are you going to put? Like, why, oh. why? why do you have to do that? Don't. See, don't. You know where the is. You don't need to point. I, I, you know, I think a lot of it changed, obviously, with COVID. We became yes. more and more aware of it, so that, that sort of thing. But still, I mean, even places like uh, uh, Golden Corral, don't they have Golden like a, Corral! Uh, <laughs> they had a huge issue during yes. the pandemic oh, yeah. because they're like, you can't do salad bars. Yeah, yeah. They, they shut Sweet them. tomato yes. vanish. Yeah. Yeah. One, one of Daytona got caught storing the meat behind the trash. Behind yeah. the trash can they stored the meat? <laughs> yeah. so they, well, I'll never eat it again. There you wow. Go. All right, yeah, moving so there forward. You go. Uh, Cameo is an online platform where you can purchase personalized videos from an A to D list celebrity. Mitch English, uh, short form. <laughs> now one guy's making D headlines after he paid uh, for a video to let his wife know he wants a divorce. Yeah. Wow. The pair of professional wrestlers shared the divorce memo on their social media platforms. They said they tried to make the devastating news sound peppy by jumping up and down in the air and cheering. Because, you know, that yeah, of course, helps hear, with right? the divorce. Uh, the husband claims he just couldn't break the news to his wife himself, so he paid someone else, these wrestling okay. celebrities, to break the news to her. And that's all I need to know about you, sir. <laughs> yeah. If you right? can't do one of the hardest things, and which I, it is extremely hard to do that, but to go hire two dudes with, with those haircuts to tell yeah. you getting a divorce, <laughs> she had to know, though, right? <laughs> I would hope so, because if this is the way he tells her he wants a divorce, that's a bigger issue than anything she's probably done. She's, oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. At least hire Jason Alexander or Get somebody, somebody yeah, get spend somebody the money legit. on it. Right. <laughs> We're talking about financially speaking, funding grow. We're going to be using credit cards to get your small business going. It's going to make a lot of sense to you when we return.